Hello, this is Jason from Noob Tech, and I'm here to review the Gnarly Head Pinot Noir California 2018 Red Wine. Now, you can get this for about $10 at Tom Thumb. Has a fake cork, but it tastes pretty good. For a $10 wine, it's not bad at all. Uh, it's the first wine that I've reviewed. And so far, I like it. It's got a good taste. And I give it um, a strong buy. If you're at the $10 price range of a bottle of wine. <clears throat> Now, let me talk to you about, here's the bottle. Let me talk to you about California wines. In Europe, people were like, they'd pull off the cork and say, Ah, France, 2018 was a, was a good year. Which really meant that the sun shone more than not. It wasn't cloudy that year. So the wine, the grapes were able to uh, grow well and ferment correctly. And uh, the wine ended up being well. In California, every year is a good year. There's sunlight. There's sunshine every year. More sunshine than night. It's never cloudy. You don't need good years to have good uh, growing seasons in California. Every year is a good growing season. So that's the difference between... That's why California wines are the best. Is because... Every season is a good season in California. Now, I also want to talk to you about the, um, it's right season, and, uh, we're right in the middle of these, it's 20 days, we're 20 days in to riots and protests, because, uh, because that guy, I can't remember his name right now, but it, he died from a cop having his knee on his neck for eight minutes. And the conservatives are like, oh, he shouldn't have been a criminal. That's what you get with you when you're a criminal. You shouldn't be breaking the law and that wouldn't happen to you. And that's just Fox News pushing that bullshit. And twisting everything around, making it sound like the riot, people who are rioting are just opportunistic and they're looting. So they're opportunistic assholes, according to Fox News, because they're just trying to get stuff. No. They're all frustrated because of the way they've had to live their lives for the last 200 years, where they can't live in peace. They have to be scared. Of the police is proactive. Okay. Here's the worst part of, about everything. The police have proactive practices. Where they catch criminals before they commit crimes. It's called proactive policing. And what they do is they go, uh, they go up to people and they, they get their IDs. Hey, stop you. Give me your papers. Just like in Germany. I hate to say it like that. Because dramatic people always say the Nazis did it, but this is this one's true. In Germany, you had to show your papers on command, and you don't have to do that here. You only have to uh, show your ID if you've broken a law, if you're suspected of a crime, if you have reasonable, articulate suspicion that you're about to commit a crime or have committed a crime. 
They can just walk up to you and say, hey, you, give me your ID. You look suspicious. Fuck you. What does suspicious look like to you? You can't just come up to me and ask me to show my ID. Who the hell are you? You're just a public servant. You're a cop. You're supposed to protect, protect people. And you can't sit there and say, I look like a criminal because you can't tell what a criminal looks like. That's profiling. Anyway, they've been, policing has been an evolutionary development. For 200 years, people have been walking around trying to catch people doing shit. No, no cops ever catch people doing shit. So, what they mostly do is intimidate people, scare the crap out of people, abuse their rights, and, um, proactive policing is basically future policing. Hey, you look suspicious, we need to get your information, in case something happens in the future, we'll, we'll have your information and we can, like, blame you or pin it on you. Bullshit. How about you wait till I commit a crime and then you can get my information and pin it on me and charge me with it. So, a lot of things just have to change. I mean, Fox News says defunding police means getting, re getting rid of police. And there's nothing more further from the truth than that. They're just being dramatic and want you to say... We can't do without cops. Who will we call if someone breaks into our house? No shit, we're not going to get rid of cops. That's just stupid to even suggest that. Nobody's suggesting that. We're just saying we don't need the cops to walk around with police or with military uniforms on, carrying military assault rifles, riding in military Humvees. I don't care if they are surplus from when we had a war with Iraq, Afghanistan, or whatever fucking stupid war we're going to get into next. We There's no reason to have military patrolling civilian cities. We do not pit the military against the civilians. If you start doing that, then the civilians stop supporting the military and we cut their budget way down. Just like the rich people secretly want to do is defund the government so they have to pay less taxes because they're greedy bastards and they want to keep more of their money. Okay, well, like this video. And um, subscribe to my channel and I will review more wines for you and I'll talk more philosophical things and hopefully you enjoy my videos and share it with your friends. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.